Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up in our report, we're here on a wind farm in Spain, asking how the renewables industry is managing growing variability in the wind. This wind variability is all over the timescale, minutes, seconds, days, years, seasons. First, a quick roundup of the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service, which shows that globally, temperatures were 0.3 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average last month, making it the sixth warmest April on record. Temperatures across Europe were generally close to average. The standout anomalies of last month were the above average temperatures from northeastern Africa across the Middle East to Pakistan and India. Northwest India and Pakistan had their warmest April on record with daily highs of up to 49 degrees and there were heatwave conditions in Egypt and Sudan too. Now switching over quickly to precipitation anomaly. And here in Europe, we can see that the dry winter in Spain was followed by above average rainfall in the east of the country. On the other hand, the UK and Italy saw less rainfall than average last month. Now to our report looking at how the wind energy industry manages the issue of variability. We were curious to know after Copernicus published this data for 2021 and it shows you how last year some areas of northwest Europe highlighted in darker blue experienced some of their lowest annual average wind speed since 1979 while in the eastern Mediterranean winds were well above average in 2021. So how do you handle that variability at different times and in different places? We went to Andalusia in Spain to find out more. Wind energy experts spend years monitoring the wind on different sites before building on the best, like this hillside at the end of a long valley. Once in operation, these turbines will constantly adjust every minute to the wind conditions. The nacelle of the wind turbines is constantly oriented towards the prevailing winds and the blades are positioned with a pitch that maximises the energy production. In the 20 years these turbines will operate, scientists expect wind speeds to become more variable in Europe as a result of climate change. It's something this growing industry is acutely aware of. It's true that we've observed that wind variability has increased in recent years and it may be because of phenomena like climate change and what we can do as developers is to keep the wind farms and wind turbines in the best working order and in the best operational mode to be available when the wind is at the site. This team in Toledo manages 284 wind farms worldwide and they use weather and climate data to ensure that the turbines with the best wind resources are producing electricity. Those without wind are programmed for maintenance. Moving forward, they'll integrate other renewable energy sources to better cope with variability. Nowadays, photovoltaic energy is starting to be an alternative energy for the days when there is no wind. Generally, in summer there are sunny days, and those are days where photovoltaic energy begins to cover a very large part of the energy demand. So it's very important that each type of energy can cover the rest when they aren't available. The final tool to tackle variability is efficiency. These new 5 megawatt turbines are the biggest and most powerful in Spain. They can operate in lower winds and just three of these can generate the same power as 14 older wind turbines. These turbines make better use of the wind. They're taller, so the swept area is larger. We're talking about 16,000 square metres of swept area, and obviously that makes the turbines more powerful, and with fewer turbines, we get the same or more power as before. If you'd like to know more, I recommend you watch the debate I hosted about the science, technology and politics of wind energy expansion in Europe on euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.